talk about this much, but I am a Godzilla fan. And I'm talking about this much on the channel. This is, this is very new, though. I do have a lot of videos uploaded. So today, I would like to talk about how I came across this DVD. Uh, second camera over here. How I came across the legendary DVD of Godzilla vs. Wolfman. Oh, first off, documentary on what Godzilla vs. Wolfman is. The Godzilla franchise ended in, in the late 1970s. So, to, to combat this, the reason why it ended was because of Star Wars. After the franchise ended, there was seeming interest growing in the giant monster bad. So to combat this, they made Godzilla vs. Wolfman as their first attempt, made by two independent filmmakers. Interest was growing around this film, um, and around Godzilla, which would come back a year later. So because of this, that's why the film never really came back up. I, when I first became a Godzilla fan, and after I learned about all the movies, I looked upon the page and un cut and un you know, unfinished lost Godzilla movies. That really interested me. So I looked it up and well Godzilla vs. Wolfman came up. And I had an extreme interest in this. So as I became a Godzilla fan, I eventually watched the major. I have seen a majority of the movies. Not all of them. I still have some on DVD that I haven't even watched yet and I've had for the past year. Yeah. So, of course, uh, you know, I have a majority of the films. Let's, let's just say that. I have like 10 I don't have, or 11. Somewhere on there. Take the ballpark of. So, Godzilla vs. Wolfman was an independent film. It was not licensed by Toho Red. This was shut down, and Godzilla would come back a year later in the smash hit Godzilla 1984. So, how does this relate to me? How did I find? Well, the film was shown by the then amateur filmmaker at several at several conventions. Uh, only parts of it. It was shown, and apparently, some guy filmed it and created this very intricately detailed fake. Fake of it. Even the disc has a nice ring to it. Even the disc is covered in Japanese writing. The how I came around to it was very interesting, but. The guy didn't even put any artwork on it. So, because of that, Godzilla vs. Wolfman was born onto this DVD cartridge, the two and together. I bought this online, to it said right there. I've been on this online as quickly as I could, and I was very selfish and I did not spread the word to my fellow Godzilla fans. Because of this, I kind of felt bad. And I've only just recently got it. How this relates to me is, well, since I found it, I can now spread the word of it. There are only six minutes of the movie, and it's not the whole thing. The real movie is being digitally restored, and will be completed in 2016, and hopefully will be used on a feature and as, the Godz as an extra on the Godzilla 1984 release. The first person I showed this to, well, well actually, I didn't. Well, before I posted the video showing it, I, uh, I shared it. I, it was originally locked, and I gave it to a. Uh, I linked it to some guy, and he said, "Oh," and I told him my story, and then I edited it into the comments to show it. This is very weird, and well, I would like to upload it, but I fear that to Toho will take it down. So, with this said, I hope someday the film will get released and I can see it in its intended format. A clip is already leaked online. I thank you for watching this. Enjoy, comment, rate, and subscribe.